quarterback in just a moment. First down and 10. Ball resting right at the 15-yard line. Trying to go left. Bryce Williams, the quarterback. We'll talk about him. He's a coach. The preseason as the number three team in the SIC, as you see Williams back to pass. Right open. Has a man out there, and it's caught. And it's caught down the field goes. Number 12, that's school in Warner Robins, Georgia. Charlie, a breakdown in coverage. Petty just gets behind everybody. And uh, had he not bobbled that ball, he might have taken it all the way to the end zone. But a great connection after a stumbling start by these guys. And nice job holding on to it. Five receptions a week ago. And their win overtime, double overtime against Lane. And here goes the quarterback, Bryson Williams, going around the left side. Gains about five yards before stepping out of bounds. Right inside the Eastern Athletic, Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, I should say. Again, quarterback keeping the ball, trying to get out of there. And maybe a yard is all he's going to get for Bryson Williams on the carry on a Thursday night a week ago. Going back is Williams. Looking, lefty throws. And incomplete. Of course, Petty looking for a flag. He's yelling at the official, throw the flag. Thirty-eight yard field goal attempt is up and it is good. Chip shot. So chip shot and it's made. But there's a flag on the play. Their own 18, 19 yard line. First possession for Alabama AM today. Back to pass. Letting it go. And overthrown. Just too big for Terrell Gardner. Gardner, the intended receiver. One of the other co captain receivers, Barry White, the tight end. Gardner, Young, Hambrick. And this one complete out of the flat. This time on the receiving end is Keenan Hambrick. The game plan is let's air this thing out, move those chains. Here we go. Going around the left side this time, Cameron Young. Let's look at the defense from just Ramsey and King. Back to pass again. It's caught on the near sideline, right in front of the Alabama A&M bench. Keep this thing moving through the air. So that attack working so far for the Bulldogs. This time it's Eaglin on the carry straight ahead. And Eaglin down to the 45-yard line, 33 yards a game. Yeah, Donovan Eaglin, great running back. Back to the air, Charlie. And it is caught on the far sideline by Keenan Hamrick, his second. Dialed, Charlie, the dink and the dunk, and keep that ball moving, keep the defense off balance. And it is first down and 10. And the pass is incomplete. Again, Hamrick, the intended receiver. All CIAA when he played at Winston-Salem. Played under Bill Hayes. Then he transferred over to North Carolina A&T when Bill Hayes left Winston-Salem and became the head coach at Winston. Letting it go down the middle. Has it complete. And a first down is gained on by Cameron Young on the reception. And it's first and 10. Ball at the 26-yard line. The little shuffle pass inside to Gardner. And Gardner close to another first down for these Bulldogs. A little shuffle pass. Like the energy and the action, and it's working. Second and one. Eaglin trying to bounce it outside. Has the first down at the 15-yard line. Donovan Eaglin won these. This uh, Bulldog team is for the season. Incomplete. Flag. And a flag. Yeah. We're going to get pass interference defensive pass. Alabama AM team, they're second in red zone offense this year in the SWAC. 92% of the time they get it into the end zone. This one knocked away. Good hands defensively by Alabama, by Tuskegee, rather. Now. They're moving the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, you are. Throwing the wide open again. And this one, let's see, no holding penalty is Jacoby Hewitt on the reception. This one from 19 yards out. Charlie, they're going to be off, and you'll see this one. He just waits on him. Look at that. In there. And the extra point is up and is good. It's a 13 play, 
83 yards. First running play basically for them today, isn't it? They haven't run the ball once, but about everything has been up, up top, John. Half a yard, and that was it. Webb is the man in motion. Bottom of your screen to the top. Quarterback back to pass and dropped. Yes, he had it in and out of the hands. A lot of real estate with Tuskegee right now. Here's Williams. Throws. Almost caught. Nice attempt and try on the reception. Back to pass. Throws it out in the flat. It's caught. Can you get away? Actually, no. Maybe a half a yard, and that's about it. All SIEC. Third in the conference in punting. Came in averaging 38 yards per punt. And the catch. A little bit of room here. And out of bounds on the far sideline. On the far sideline. On the return by Gardner. Field position across midfield into Tuskegee territory. First and ten at the 39. And they keep the ball on the ground, running off the right side. Eaglin gets the carry. And Eaglin picks up some pretty good yards. And it opens up your airways. This one play action this. this time. Throws, and it's caught inside the 10, down to about the seven yard line. Charlie, they're really. Also has one of the tight ends, Donovan Payne. Back there, uh -oh. the ball is bobbled and picked a up. Lucky bounce. They certainly was a lucky bounce and able to come back with it was Quincy Casey. Red zone in this contest. Let's see if they can make it two for two. And the pass out the flat. And in. Touchdown. He caught it. Got it. Yeah, he he did caught a nice it. Nice job. Jim Colby Hewitt, his second. That's the second touch. This is not an easy catch. Watch him with the defender in his face, but he's able to isolate the ball, gets both hands on it, only need one foot down. He actually got them both in. That is a great play by Jacoby Hewitt, and a nice ball perfectly placed where it gives his receiver a chance to get up over the defender and haul that in. AM is able to. Uh, they both played lane. AM yeah. rushed him. Yeah, they and double overtime. Him by 38 points. And. Tuskegee needed double overtime to win by six. In fact, when you look at Tuskegee's schedule, they beat Fort Valley by six. You see if that makes, you know, you look better than you are. And so far today, AM a dominant team here. Third down. Going around the left side, looks like they may have picked up the first down. That was a second down, actually, not third. Consistency, and they need a break to start getting some uh, confidence build up here. They've been pushed on their heels. Going up top, intercepted. And INT this time. Imari Pate comes down with the eye. An intercept, you can see Williams just telegraphs this and fires it right into double coverage. That's going to cost him. First turnover of the ball game for either team. So that gives Alabama and M great field position. That's his third career interception. Pass out in the flat and Do wide open they again. They're just picking the defense apart with the passing game right now. And again, it's Hambrick on the reception. That's a 40-yard completion. Again, keeping it on the ground. Penalty flag. But a flag is down. Eaglin said, when am I going to get some action? Yes, right. Yeah. <laughs> the running back. Here, feed me, brother. I need to get my reps in, too. My hand. Last week to 10 different receivers for over 300 yards. And there's a draw play straight ahead. Maybe they can on the ground, too. And again, another running back. And this is Ryan Morrow, who had 191. You say thunder, thunder and lightning. lightning. They, like they have that. thunder and more thunder. And they're hammering them right now. <laughs> and there's coming more thunder. More and money. into the end zone goes Ryan Morrow. The sophomore from Maplesville, Alabama. Nine yard run. What about that? First down and 10 now. Tuskegee, Golden Tigers, down by a number of points here in this game. And they try to keep it on the ground, running it off the left side with Karan Taylor. He's been their leading rusher so far in the contest. Taylor now. Give credit to the uh, Bulldog defense, too. 
again, running back slips down, trying to turn the corner. That was Taylor. Passing, throw, dropped. Made it in the hands. It would have had the first down. To this field, he says, although he's on opposing sides, he says he just is happy to be home. He recently coached at Miles College, turning that defensive program from the bottom of the ranks to one of the best in the conference. No, this one's going to be six. <laughs> I don't care what you say. It's going to be 76 yards. A 76 yard to really rocking their worlds. But look at a little out and up. Just faking bacon in there. Made it look easy. Keenan Hambrick didn't even have to work that hard. He actually just trotted out, turned it up, and made it easy. Sit. In there at quarterback. Actually hasn't had a bad game. He had that one interception they threw in the last possession. But the lineman got kind of got in the way of the running back that time. Yeah. And which caused the running back to uh <laughs> Have to stumble back and go in the opposite an overpowering effort. Second and ten. Play action, real quick pass out in the flat. And out of bounds after the reception. So <laughs> he's preparing to go to Green Bay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Frozen tundra. This is a and incomplete. Incomplete. In you and I, if we got out there on the field, we might break loose for a touchdown. No question. There's a pass again. This one just a little bit too far. LeVar Gums was the intended receiver. That in the backfield right now is Harold Jemison, sophomore out of Nashville, Tennessee, number 33. But they give it on the end around to Eaglin. Eaglin trying to come to the near side. Let's go down to Courtney right now. Hey, Charlie, we've spoken a lot today about Quincy Casey. He From a year ago, what he was able to do. He was great. Empty backfield right now for Casey. And plenty of room over there. Green now decides he's going to run. And he's only going to get about five yards. It'll bring up a fourth down at five. This will be the first punt of the day for him. That lineup will be paid me a million dollars <laughs> with those little glasses and Stefan Urkel vibe. Again, the pass. And this one is incomplete. Incomplete again. In the high jump. Historic lineup. Now, third down and 12. A lot of pressure. Get, boy, not a, it's fourth down and 100. Yeah. You got to get rid of that. You can't afford to take a sack that deep. Yeah, at that point, step out. That'll be a safety. That's Ryan Duff. Gardner. Gardner's date to receive it, and he does at about the 42 yard line and turns the corner and is down the sideline, still on his feet and out of bounds at his own at the 20 of Tuskegee. A couple of flags back there, Charlie. See if this one stands or if they'll be bringing it back. So at the 45 yard line of Tuskegee, Alabama AM goes to work. Brings the ball on the ground, and there's Eaglin inside the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Alabama AM. That is a nice piece of running. And he just shoots for these guys. Watch the middle. Big guys up front. Nice hole. Eaglin shakes and bake and takes it all the way to the house. So that was a six yard line. First down and 10. Tuskegee. Ball is loose, but they say exactly incomplete. Incomplete. They got a break on that one. That ball did spring loose. A lot of history in Tuskegee, Alabama. Trying to go to the left side on the running play. And nothing doing that time for Karan Taylor. He's been bothered. Yeah, exactly. that's, out, that's outside. These are the people not even in here. That's, that's Yeah, exactly. That crowd almost matches what we have in the stands. And the ironic thing about it is a lot of those RVs that are out there in that parking lot, they are Tuskegee people. Right next to you, man. Hunting. Oh, he snuffed it. Got it. And, and, it's, and it'll be down. It can't yeah. advance it. Bounced and hit the pylon, so I don't know if they're just calling it that it was out of bounds, but that was crazy from the beginning. But that's the kind of day it has been. Everything working for the Bulldogs and the Golden Tigers just taking a beating. Calling that one a safety, huh? So, so watch this. Slow on getting it off. Snapped it. Great effort there. 
Let's see. So because it looks like it hits. Yeah, you can't see where it bounced, but if you see it on a wider play, you'll notice that pylon falls over. Maybe we'll get a catch it here. Great effort right there on the defensive play. That was Xavier Billingsley with the block. Still never actually. Yeah, completions out of 16 attempts, 75 yard or 75% completion for 227 yards. The ironic part of this whole afternoon for Alabama and M. This is their seventh to the moving over to the left side of his quarterback. And Morrow has the ball. Morrow on his feet. Morrow still going. Morrow bounces inside. Fifth still on his ten. Feet, Charlie. Nine. And run out of bounds at the nine yard line. Jeez. They are putting on a everybody picking up yards. Here's a pass. Caught. Hambrick touchdown. Alabama AM. Yeah, it's bang, zoom, what do you want to At halftime when you're down by 41 points. That's a great question. One of the things you tell your team is, hey, guys, see that exit door, let's get to the bus. But you, you can't do that. So, And then you, maybe you finally connect on the pass and fumble the ball. I don't know. Wow. I don't know if the ground caused that fumble. I thought he was that for Tuskegee. So they connect. Nice job of catching the ball. Shot Sager is his name. Close look here. The, there's the contact that loosens it up, but you're right. The ground caused that one, but he took a lick. So Rashad wow. Sager on the reception out of Birmingham, Alabama, freshman. That's his first time. Do they go ahead and try to put in the end zone again, Charlie? <laughs> Knowing Cornell? <laughs> That's right. Well, <laughs> I we'll, got a story we got we'll to tell you about one up in the up. second half. That's right. Yeah. I've, I had a game. Talk about that later on. Light it up. <laughs> Show it to you, too. He's looking for somebody. Running for a first down, slides down, picks up the necessary yards for a first down. They're trying to hustle this in. Let's Alabama a and M. Looking at the end zone, Charlie. Incomplete. Oh. Came close to being intercepted. 16 seconds. They're flooding the zones with a lot of receivers. Nope. Incomplete. Third down. Third and ten. 44 to 3. In case you just tuned in, that's not a mistake on your screen. It's up. Just got, it's got the distance. A little wide. But it's no good. A little wide. So he missed it. Side, soaking up the vibe, the food, the beverages. And it's we looked at it. We looked at it in the first half, but it, that same group is still out there. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> they have not moved inside. Here's a return. Here's a pretty good return for Alabama AM. We're seeing some new people bring the ball back up the field now for Alabama AM. First down and 10. Casey stays in there at the quarterback, and so about a two-yard gain. Really doing it for a second straight week and making the Golden Tigers pay. Bouncing off the right side, Eaglin spinning, and has a first down inside or out. 45 to the 44, a first down. You know, father and son taking on the world together. More Eaglin. And more Eaglin is right down to the 25, 26 yard line is where they'll spot the ball at another first down. But he wants a piece of this. This uh, Alabama a &M team leads the SWAC, came in as the number one scoring offense in the conference, averaging 26 points a game. And they already have 44 points on the board here in the, to start the second half as Ryan Morrow got the ball spotted at the 12 yard line. Casey going up top, Hambrick incomplete. Flag is thrown yeah, yeah, half the jersey. distance. Half the distance to the goal line, and again, and Hambrick is six foot four. Mikhail King is five ten, and the running back with Morrow doesn't get to the end zone. Trying to add to that 44 points they have on the board, and to give off to Eaglin, and Eaglin is going to be dropped at about the two. Make it the three yard line. It'll be third down and goal. Eaglin trying for his second rushing last week against Arkansas Pine Bluff. Third down. 
Quarterback Casey decides to keep it, turns the corner, still pushing and down to the one. Will make that Eaglin look like it went right to Eaglin. Eaglin is back there getting the ball. And Eaglin still going. And does he cross the goal line? I don't know. They don't say he does. That was a fourth down play. There was a Wildcat again. There was no quarterback yeah, in the lineup. Yet. It looked like the he got on the field. In, but the is that the runner did not make the goal line? Across the goal line. Let's take a look here. So Eaglin pounds up in there, puts his head down, and he's still pushing. And I don't know. I, they, they said he wasn't in there, but that ball was pretty close. A review. <laughs> Call a timeout. Let them review it from their own one-yard line. Here they go. Maybe one of the better running plays of the day. About five yards. And this is where you time you cannot stop with the attitude and the right approach. And again, they're keeping the ball on the ground. Johnny Mars was the man running the ball. And he picks up the first field for the offense. Now this time, Wilson Williams back to pass. And it's caught. Great. First down. Across the 25 yard line to the 26 yard line. It's a challenge for both teams, both head coaches. Keeping it on the ground and outside is Mars. Mars on the go, cross midfield and into Alabama and m territory. All the way down to the 49 yard line. Good run. And Amari Payton was the man who made the stop. And again, Leverett again going around the left side. He's he has punishing. about nine yards on the carry. Desmond Leverett, high school last year, had run back what they showed in that first half. Back to pass is Williams. Let's it go. Incomplete. No flags. Staying with Byers, uh, Bryson Williams at the quarterback spot. Again, keeping the ball on the ground and going straight ahead, close to the first down. Let's see where they spot the ball and. Maybe about a yard. Yeah, man, keep the drive alive. Down by 41 points. And nope. they're not going to get it. They give the ball to the freshman Desmond Leverett. And he is going to be stopped short of the first down marker. After some move. Giving to the big guy. Mr. Thunder. And more Thunder. <laughs> thunder and Thunder, baby. That's Harold Jemison. Casey still in there at the quarterback. Throws it out to the near side. This one complete to LeVar Gums. You know, they've lost last year's leading receiver. That was I Gums and Turner and Hewitt. We've seen Hewitt catch a couple touchdown passes today. Pressure coming in. He gets it away. Wide open and complete to Gums. He got him, let him a little bit too much. Gums. Play action to the screen back to the near side and it comes over to young cameron young cameron young moves the chains down inside the 35 yard line to the 33. back when they wore leather helmets charlie it's been a while that's all right you did it <laughs> this one didn't complete off the hands of gums trips receivers up top casey looking to do some damage there it is Hit him down the middle, still running his gums, gums still in the running. three, and down to the one yard line goes gums. LeVar Gums. A man hit him in the stride. <laughs> and they keep it on the ground this time again. They call the touchdown, they get it into the end zone, and carrying, but a flag is down. Is you know, it's, at this point you say, okay, we your chances of us coming back and winning this game are slim and none as the quarterback slides down after about a three three yard gain. Yeah, and you're, you're right, Charlie. The threat didn't play against Lane in their double overtime win a week ago. Puts the ball in the air, has it complete. And a first down is gained on the far side by Jonathan Montreville. This time going left is Leverett. Leverett didn't get much on that run. Looking up top and it's caught on the far side, but not going to be enough for a first down as a number of dark jerseys 
around the receipt. Talking about Aaron James, who played here, played at Tuskegee. Quarterback under pressure, throws, and it's complete, but not enough for a first down, or is it? And they got it. Depends and they spotted it. They did yeah. get him. They gave him. Nice job of last play. New running back in the lineup for Tuskegee. That's Cameron Gatewood, a freshman out of Athens, Alabama. On offense in the first half. Yeah, it's, it's not much to smile about. Letting it go. Has it complete. And big number 89, Johnny Gilbert. Placements already. Uh, playing in the contest uh -oh. and that ball goes down. That was a third down play. Jeez. So, you know, you're talking about adding insult to injury. Just things not working well for the the Tiger. <laughs> you get to that US Rock and Space Museum, they'll fly you home. Xavier Langford keeping the ball on the ground as the quarterback now of record in the lineup. And they bring in DJ Moffitt. The right, right. I'm gonna eat your lunch and keep it. Keeping it on the ground again, running straight ahead. DJ Moffitt. Rick had a 76 yard pass that he completed. Now, Langford putting it up right in the there. air, and it's caught and out of bounds at about the two yard line. Did they score a touchdown? They said it was a touchdown reception. A and m putting some more points on the board this time Braxton Tolliver 42 yards for the touchdown and Langford just lays <laughs> 11th possession of the day for Tuskegee they had a field a junior out of Evergreen Alabama 6'4 205 redshirt junior putting the ball in the air or faking it anyhow, like he's putting the ball in the air. Yeah, an imagine trick. Gives off to Jesmond. And Charlie, in the world of sports, I'm never a fan of the moral victories, but these guys just need to get something going so they can feel good about just how they're playing. Forget the moral victory in this game. You want to start putting something together tight so you again have some positive takeaways as far as just football, blocking, tackling the basics. Level to the false start. Now to keep it in on the ground. Still running, breaking nice. tackles, and going forward with a reckless abandon is Moffitt. We've seen him running, DJ Moffitt. You can throw two passes now. Sit back there. This is a 6'6 freshman. Real tall, lanky kid. And they keep it on the ground, and it's Moffitt getting the first down. DJ. And again, they come to DJ Moffitt, but he's not going to go much further than the midfield strike. Because DeAndre Chapman was there to make the stop defense. You don't quite understand it, so this is good for these kids. Second down and nine. Coming to the side once That's again. That's big boy. And this is Harold Jemison. Thunder and more thunder. Yeah, Brute 33. I like it, man, because he's got some power. Quarterback decides he's going to keep it this time. Didn't look like he was too uh, fleet footed, did he? <laughs> Corey Chavis. Are you trying to say slow? <laughs> he's a, a nice way of saying it. Behind Chavis, the quarterback. And it's Jemison trying to go to the left side this time. Bottle up pretty good right at the, right the line of scrimmage. Maybe a half a yard, and that's it. Fumble, balls on the ground. Oh, up. The big man go. And it is a fumble on the exchange. And it's a turnover. First one of the day for this. Keeping the ball coming to the near side, Tuskegee. The signals right now. Nettles handing off. Off the right side, Tuskegee keeping the ball on the ground. This time it's Cameron Gatewood once again. Trying to 
go to the left side again. Not much doing. A bunch of dark jerseys are there. Got the crown and everything. <laughs> Here we go. Nothing doing for. Unfortunately for the Golden Tigers, that's kind of been their day. It has been. 43 yard line. Alabama and m keeping the ball on the ground. They have the ball once again. And again, fam, you came in in 2021. Charlie Encyclopedia Neal at your service. Three yard gain on that run that time by DJ Moffitt. And again, Antonio, uh, Antoine Bethea, I should say, and James had not doing that game. And then they'll close out the season at home here against Mississippi Valley. So it was great uh, season in Alabama. A &M. Yeah, man, he lit it up. That uh, was Cornell Maynard at AT back in 1991. You called that game. I happened to do that game with Lim Barney down in Orangeburg, South Carolina. And of course, they came out victorious 49 21. Oh, that's great video. <laughs> He's quite the character, man, even back then. Yeah, he was taking all their money. 32 seconds to go in this one. And then out Tuskegee still trying to keep something going. And you can't blame them. You don't ever want to give up in a situation like this. 58 to 3. The final score here from Huntsville, Alabama. It's homecoming.